think I hear birds. I hear birds. Do you hear that? It's like I hear birds somewhere. Where do I hear the birds at? Do you hear those birds? The wine storybook trial. Ohio Department of Natural Resources established 2022. Birds feather. And of course it's like Little free library. There's a little free library. I guess there's things in there that you can look at. Little things, little things. So it's like, ah, oh. just take a look at the lake first, see what the lake looks like today. So I'm gonna walk out here, see what the lake looks like. So a little bit on the hot side today. So I can't really get down to the water. It's all grown up. <clears throat> all around the water, you used to be able to get down to that. Or see fish jumping over there in the corner. So we'll probably get some bait over there. There's a bird flying out through there. I see a spider there beside that tree, hanging on its nest. Yeah, my gosh, what's down here? There must be something dead down here. There's like, like things, 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 things popping in the water there. So it's like, could probably kill some bait fish there. I don't understand why. Why, 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 why? Why so many bugs here? Why are there so many bugs here? This is like birds of a feather. It's like birds of a feather. Written by Cedar Sand, illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman, Storybook Trail. Hello, bookworm. Did you know you can exercise your mind and body at Ohio State Parks? It's true. This interactive trail is lined with pages from Birds of Feather to combine the fun of reading with outdoor exploration. It's time to put on your hiking shoes and thinking cap. Let's go. The Ohio Governor's Imagination Library is a proud partner of Storybook Trails of Ohio State Parks. OGIL provides books to children from birth to age 5. From birth to age 5 every month at no cost to the family. If you would like to enroll your child, please visit OhioImaginationLibrary.org. Birds of Feather by Cito Seth, illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman. Text copyright 2021 by by what? By what? By Cito Sin. Illustration copyright 2021 by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman. Used by permission of Philomo Books, an imprint of Penguin Random House LLC 2021. All rights reserved. This trail is based on the storybook project by Annie Ferguson of Montpelier, Vermont, developed in collaboration with the Vermont Bicycle and Pedestrian Coalition and the Kellogg Hubert Library, donated by Oliver Niehoff for children who love to read. Says, love your state, park, invest in the future. It's not actually the future, it's kind of like going back into the past. They used to do a lot of these things in the past. Well, I guess this is a trail, this is supposed to be the trail, I didn't know. There should be like a sign with an arrow pointing, don't you think? Don't you think there would be like a sign with an arrow pointing? Which way to go? Because it doesn't look like many people have taken it yet, there's no dirt path. It's been mowed, but there's no dirt path going back this way. So I don't really like understand the trail. So I've been hiking on many different trails, of course. I'm kind of confused here. I don't know exactly where I'm going at this point in time. Looks like a big old tree. It's not really a big old tree, but it's kind of a big tree for this area. It's an old tree, definitely. Looks like it's not got too many years left. All right. What have we got down here? I see trails up there, but it's like, where does it go? It's like, where does it go? So, you know, it can be confusing at times as to where I'm going. 
So now they've got this cut out, I wonder if we're allowed to come up in here and fish and this and that. Because, you know, I might be able to pull a bass or two out from up in here. I don't know. I don't know, it looks pretty shallow though. I've already seen one snake today. I was at another park and I saw a snake, so it's like it was rolling over top of the dam, came off the dam, and it's like shh. I don't know what kind of snake it was. I didn't really you know it didn't have it was like a dark colored snake, so you know I'd have to look at dark colored snakes and to see what kind of variety it might have been. But still I would be guessing. I wouldn't know if I had the right answer or not. So, where are we headed now? Well, I have no idea, do you? Does anybody know where we're going? So, I've got another one here. Well, I guess this is for amateur hikers. Because I see a picnic table. There's a place of Sodom. It says, birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. Written by Sita Singh, illustrated by Stephanie Pfizer Coleman. Something books. Check out the right side of each page for fun fox and activities. Do you guys see a book there? Apparently there's supposed to be a book there, but the book is apparently missing. So there is no book there at this time. And I'll see, you know, it's like check out the first page. I'm like, where is the first page? So it's like, you know, I don't really, I've got a picnic table here. And this looks like a trash color. Looks like the water's down a little bit. This is mud down in there. It's like, very shallow and muddy up in here. It's like swamp land. So I've got something out there, I'm not sure what that is up there. But, 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 but. So I don't know, well, I do, well, so long as I see those signs, I guess I'm, in a safe zone, I don't know. Yeah, this is. I wish there was like signs pointing with arrows pointing your next, your next, your next destination is that way. Or they had like you know guides standing there saying, "Yes, it's okay. You can go that way. Just follow the trail." I'm like, "What trail? I guess this is the trail." They actually put in a couple of plastic culverts here. It's like, man, the bugs are so bad this year. It's like a hot day. So if the lake gets up, all this will go under water. I'm like, I don't think that's gonna do much good down there because if this if the water rises up and it gets, you know, rains a lot, all this will go under water. So the water will go way up into there. I see cocktails up in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you hear that? I'm getting out up along it. Do you see that? Look at that, look at all those bugs. Oh my god. Look at those things. Because of stagnant water there. All right, we're entering into a world of darkness here. It says, "One spring morning, the Himalayan jungle welcomed a new generation of peachicks, including one named Mo. Mo. Each one was covered in a coat of yellow and brown feathers, yellow or brown feathers. Mo and his friends roosted high and low." caught ticks and termites and screeched loud into the night. Mo loved to roost, hunt and screech, but what he loved most of all was playing hide and seek. Can you spot wildlife hiding around you? Use your senses, such as seeing and hearing, and see what you can find. Perhaps a bird is hiding up in a tree, or an insect is hiding under a leaf. Be careful not to disturb, touch or disturb wildlife. I think we found the bugs. <laughs> we definitely found the bugs. Well, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. I didn't know if you can see that on camera or not. So we found some bugs, that's for sure. The nits and the gnats and whatever they are. I think they're called nits and gnats. I don't think they really have a name. There's just a freaking bug. All right, so it's like the trio goes up. Well, it's a little more interesting. At least you've got like a dirt trail now and, and it goes uphill a little bit. It's enough to make, you know, just an ordinary person huff and puff. <sighs> Not like they're going to blow your house down, but it's enough to make you 
huff and puff, trying to get your breath to climb up this hill. This is not really that big a hill though. It's like I ain't going no bigger hills than this. And different hiking. So you know, I was just curious as to what it was like back here. So I thought I would come and check it out. <sighs> Alright. It made me huff and puff a little bit. Hey wait a minute. We had the first arrow. I thought I saw something there. It's my shadow. I got spooked by my shadow. Oh no, don't tell me that happened. It says story book trail. So there's our first arrow. It's saying go this way. Alright. We shall go this way. Let's see what's up here. Alright. We're at number three. Number three. Number three says what? It says by the second summer each pea check pea chick dawned a crest. They grew white feathers, tail feathers, fluff, fluff, fluff. Some had short tails, some had long. All the long tailed pea chicks turned into peacocks with bright, bold, beautiful colors. All except Mo. Mo looked different from the top of his crest to the tip of his tail. His feathers shone white. Mo didn't mind. The peacock still did everything together. It says, most birds have stiff feathers that make a woo sound as they fly. If you were a bird, what kind would you be? Pretend to be your favorite bird. Spread your wings and whoosh to the next page. All right, so there was not really anything on the first page, was there? It was blank. I, I, think, I think I'm starting to figure this out now. I think I'm starting to figure this out now. There was really nothing on the first page. It was blank. I don't know why. Why did they leave the first page of a book blank? You see that down there? I don't know if you can see that now. You think that's a feather from a pea chick? Or is that a feather from another type of bird? What do you think? Feel free to post that in the comment section if you if you've got a good glimpse of that feather and and know what it is. All right. So, and we walk some more. Now here come the birds. So you gotta be more careful about how you're talking. And those and that are you can swallow easily swallow a mouthful of bugs. So I'm looking. Ah. It looks like when the rain is coming. They play rough on the ground down to here. Looks like they wash a lot of stuff down. And they may wash, you know, like ditches across the trail eventually. There'll be like many ditches. People will have to step down, step up, step down, step up to get through here. I think maybe I heard that. What was that? Did you hear that? There's something red right there. What is that? Sound like a. Looks like a. Uh, it looks like something somebody is tied around the tree for some reason. I don't know why. That's all to say. It's really hard to say at this point in time. You know, it's kind of dark back in here, isn't it? Well, it's not bad actually, but you know, it's like, but it does look like nightfall is coming on. And it's always been bad luck for me because it seems like when I get back in places like this, sometimes I'm back here too long and I forget about the time. And then it gets too dark, and I'm like, oh, am I going to make it out of here? You know, sometimes I don't know if I will make it out in time. All right, so. We're at page number four. But as time went on, hide and seek wasn't quite as fun as it used to be. So that's what I'm reading right there. Mo couldn't hide like the others. He didn't have bright, bold, beautiful feathers. Mo looked different, and it began to feel different too. Unlike Mo, white animals usually live in places that are covered with snow in winter. They camouflage or blend in with the snow and hide from enemies. When you get home, create a disguise for yourself using hats, sunglasses, and old clothes. Does anyone recognize? 
recognize? Does anyone recognize you? What do you think? Do you recognize me? I don't know. You'll have to leave down in the comment section if you know who I am. All right. We shall continue on. That was page four of the book that we are reading. I can hear the birds. Looks like they've been cutting trees and logs and this and that out. Clearing it out through here. Making a trail. So, question is, where is the next one? And I've got to keep track of the time too, because I I don't like to be caught in here. Because you can look, look around me. Would you like to be back here in the dark? With only a cell phone flashlight to try to find your way back out. Look at that. It's obviously no place you want to be at in the dark time, is it? Because you never know what's back in here. I mean, there could be foxes, it might be a wolf, you know, there could be a lost bear from another side, from the Appalachian Mountains or something. You never really know until you what? Until you run into something like that. So usually I'm walking the path and looking for things like snakes. I don't think there's a snake that makes a sound like that, but I didn't know what to do for a sound effect for that part. But the birds adding ambiance to the background. All right, I think I'm getting lost. Uh, do I have to come back this way, you think? I, you know, a lot of these things go around in a circle. We really go around in a circle. We should fly high like a bird up in the sky. All right, page five. And page five is, it says, but his friends did what friends do. You're still a peacock. Birds of a feather groomed together. Don't think about it. You'll be fine. Mo shook off his worries. He was glad to belong to such a great group of peacocks. See, many nature lovers keep a record of what they see when they're outside. You can write notes, draw pictures, or take photos. When you get home, draw a picture of your adventure at the storybook trail. All right. Let's see where page